Hm. Back on. We have a fork. That's a bit unlucky. Okay. But it doesn't mean you've won the game just because you find these types of positions. So you still have to fight with some cleverness still. So now keeping the basics, looking to try and own the files with the rooks as best possible. Just because you've got an extra piece doesn't mean you've won the game. Case in point, like in the previous games. Um, where I've lost a piece, um, I've come back somehow miraculously. Doesn't happen all the time, but the majority of the time I suppose it does, because it depends on what the opponent does. So I'm going to just lean here with the X-ray through to the king. I'm just going to bring the bishop through attacking the knight. Now whether I actually take this knight or not, that's a different kettle of fish because it's going to double the pawns up, but it does give the rooks access to come down here. Should I be fearful of that? Could maintain some sort of pressure, because if the king goes here, then the white square bishop could come here. I don't think they are, but we'll give it a shot anyway. I think the king's going to come down here. Yeah, it has done. So we could still attack the rook. Or we could bring our bishop back and attack the king. Try and condense it a little bit. Could bring our rook up with a check on the king. If he's looking to hide down here. Put some more checks on. But I think we need to remove this knight first because the knight can act as a blocker. So if we capture this knight first. Oh no, I can't. I can't move the rook now. Because <laughs> his pawn's blocking. So we could bring the rook here, attacking this pawn up here. So I'm just going to bring that up here, attacking this pawn. Making it look like we're ignoring the king at the minute, which we are doing because we can't find a decent position yet. So it's defended. So doubling up the rooks, keeping it simple. Obviously the bishop is going to move now because he's going to want that. So we're going to just bring it across here now. As you can see, we're trying to get closer towards the king area as best possible. And there's no pawns now blocking the rook attacking this king. So we could bring the rook here and go back to the sort of original thought process. We could go there, but it's not. And we did say we're going to push a pawn up. And where can the king go from there? He can't really go anywhere. I think that's checkmate, isn't it? Oh, it's not. I'm, I'm wrong. Am I losing something? Oh, he goes a bit further over. Okay, rook could come here, but because this bishop is there, so we potentially can take this pawn. Or we can push this pawn. So when we push this pawn, the king can't come down, he can't go up, so that is definitely checkmate. Yes! Ooh. Okay, so yeah, maintaining advantages when you have those extra pieces um, is quite key. I think this game showed working the pieces together quite nicely, not over-egging it. And yeah, I, I really enjoyed that. 